Yes, you could say our world used to be a bit of a fungi place. About 400 million years ago, during the Devonian period, Earth had a very different landscape from the sprawling forests we are accustomed to today. Back then, plants were predominantly small, ground-hugging vegetation not exceeding waist height. Trees as we know them, those towering, leafy, branchy bastions of the forest, hadn't evolved just yet. In this pre forestial era, the land was indeed ruled by an organism called prototaxates, which were not your everyday mushrooms that you might find on a pizza, but something even more dramatic. Imagine mushrooms that towered almost 30 feet tall and several feet wide, dominating the landscape like organic skyscrapers of an alien world. Now before you start picturing a honey I shrunk the kids kind of scenario, consider what that meant for the planet. These weren't fungi in the traditional sense. They were more like the closest thing the Earth had to trees before actual trees took over. They were probably one of the largest living things on land at that time, if we exclude bacterial mats. Their composition? Likely similar to that of a mushroom, composed mostly of chitin, which is still found in fungal cell walls today. I'm in Portland, Oregon, and let me tell you, we are no strangers to our fungal friends in this neck of the woods. Sometimes when hiking in the damp forests here, I almost expect to see prototaxides standing among the conifers. But alas, that world is gone, and fungi of such mammoth proportions no longer rule the land. Why? Because eventually, trees evolved, and with trees came leaves and subsequently, the game-changing ability to outcompete the giant mushrooms by casting shade and altering the ecosystem. Fungi, while no longer the giants they once were, are still critically important to Earth's biosphere. They decompose organic matter, recycle nutrients, and some even form symbiotic relationships with trees, mycorrhizae. So while we don't live in an age of giant mushrooms, fungi are still very much a part of our world, just a bit closer to the ground. 